Okay. So the fundamental theorem calculus states that if a function f is continuous on the closed interval from a to b, and f is an antiderivative of f on the interval from a to b, then the integral from a to b of f of x dx is equal to the antiderivative f of b minus the antiderivative f of a. So, um, an important part to this proof is writing um, uh, the difference capital F of B minus capital F of A in a convenient form. So, um, delta would still be any partition of A to B. Um, and some guidelines for using the fundamental theorem of calculus is uh, are uh, first, provided you can find an antiderivative of f, you now have a way to evaluate a definite integral without having to use the limit of a sum. So second, when applying the fundamental theorem of calculus, the notation shown below was convenient. Um, and the notation shown below is the integral from a to b of f of x dx is equal to the antiderivative of f of x. Um, and then from A to B, and this notation basically is the same thing as just saying um, F of B minus F of A. So this is the same thing as this. And um, yeah, and that's shown right next to it. Um, so then... Um, an example below is this. So say you want to take the integral from 1 to 3 of x cubed dx, then the antiderivative of x cubed is x to the 4th over 3 plus 1 is 4, so x, cubed, x to the 4th over 4, um, and that's shown on the right side. So then afterwards you need to plug in 3 for x and then 1 for x in the this um, antiderivative. So that's what they did here. So they have 3 to the 4th over 4 minus 1 to the 4th over 4, which is equal to 81 fourths, which is equal to minus 1 fourth, which is then equal to 20. Okay. And then lastly, it is not necessary to include a constant of integration in the antiderivative. So normally when you take the antiderivative of a function, you would have to do plus c. But um, for uh, definite or uh, for definite integrals, you don't need to use the plus c because it's um, not important in finding the uh, the actual area under the function. Because the area under the function of a definite integral should be an exact value or a, num a numerical value. Um, so let's do a practice problem. We have f of x is equal to 2x squared minus 3x plus 2, and it's bounded by the x-axis and the vertical lines x equals 0 and x equals 2. So let's rewrite this in an integral format. It would be integral from 0 to 2 of 2x squared minus 3x plus 2 dx. Okay, the next step is to find the antiderivative of this, and that would be... 2x to the third over 3 minus 3x squared over 2 um, plus 2x. And then remember, we don't need to do the plus c because this is a definite integral since it's from a numerical value to another numerical value. And then we need to solve this for 0 and 2. So remember, it's top minus bottom. So 2 to the third over 3 minus 3, 2 squared over 2, plus 4, all of this minus um, 0 over 3, minus 0 over 2, plus 0. So this is just 0, so we just need to solve for this left side. And 2 uh, third power is 8, so two, 8 times 2 is 16 over 3, minus 12 over 2 plus 4, and then this further simplifies to 16 over 3, minus 6 plus 4, so minus 2. Um, so we end up getting this, and then this is equal, uh, this is also equal to 6 over 3, which is equal to 10 thirds, 
So 10 thirds is our answer and is the integral of this function from zero to two, which also means it is the area under this function from zero, from the vertical lines x equals zero to x equals two.